To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles by opposing end them, to die, to sleep, to sleep, or chance to dream, ah, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death where dreams may come, and we have shoveled off this mortal coil, must give us pause, there's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the laws delay, the influence of office, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself might his quietest make with a bare bodkin? Who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life without the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country, from whose born no traveller returns, puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of? Thus, conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sicklied over the pale cast of thought, and enterprises of great pitch and moment with this regard their currents turn awry and lose the name of action.